All right, so now we're going to do the same two objects coming towards each other in an imperfect collision. Uh, this is a lot trickier. Uh, there's basically one technique of dealing with it. First, I have to give you one other piece of information. I have to tell you how much kinetic energy is lost. Uh, I know that I can't lose more than, we went from 86.5 to 11.12 in the perfectly inelastic. I can't lose more than that. Uh, so let's just take a central number. I'm going to say we lose 40% of our kinetic energy. So we're going to lose 40% of kinetic energy. And therefore, that means that we retain 60%. Therefore, that's the three dots like that. Uh, we retain that will be system. Apparently, I have class that's about to start soon. Uh, the system will retain 60%. Uh, to write this in math speak, because ultimately we need formulas here in order to solve it, we have kinetic final is equal to 60% or 0.6 times my initial kinetic. And that's going to be the basis for one of our equations. So kinetic final is equal to 0.6 times initial uh, kinetic. Uh, so now let's actually go into setting up the equations. I'm going to hold that right there for, I'm going to erase it before we're done, but I'm going to hold it there for right now. So the two equations I'm dealing with here, this is one of them. The other one is conservation momentum. Matter of fact, whenever you see a collision or there's a collision in a problem, uh, you should immediately think conservation momentum. In real life, if you're out on the streets and you see a collision, uh, you know, first, is it everyone okay? And then think conservation momentum. So we're dealing with this right here. So I know that my total initial momentum is equal to my total final momentum. And so my total initial momentum, I already know that, that's negative 17. That's going to be equal to 5 times whatever my final velocity is for the 5 kilogram mass plus 8 times whatever my final velocity is for the 8 kilogram mass. So this is my first equation right here. Again, my final momentum is just the sum of the individual momentums. And so combine them like that. And matter of fact, writing this V5F and 8, uh, V, sorry, V5F and V8F, it gets to be a real nuisance when dealing with this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some letter substitutions. Uh, because of where I'm heading later, uh, I want to use capital D to stand for one of these. I probably could adapt, but I'm not going to right now. So what I'm going to do is, since I'm going to use D to represent one of these things right here, I'm going to erase this up here, just so I don't have D defined as something else. I'm not just letting D be a unit, but what I'm doing is I'm letting this right here be C, and this right here be D. And so my formula right here, breaking it down, is negative 17 is equal to 5c plus 8d. This makes, simplifies the notation. And we have a guest right now, so a very special guest. So I'm going to stop this right now. Uh, and then we will pick up in just a moment.